Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co and today's video we are going to be reviewing HTV Ront's new auto heat press. This thing I have been using for about two weeks and I am loving it. It is so nice. Such an upgrade. So can't wait to share this with you guys. They also sent me some heat transfer vinyl in such beautiful colors. So we're gonna be trying this out on this heat press. We're gonna be making a few things today to try that out. They also sent me this new something that I have not used before. It is Sublimation HTV. I'll be honest, I have not tried this, but I can't wait to try it. But let's go ahead and jump on in to the unbox. And I'm gonna unbox this quickly and show you everything that comes with this machine how to turn it on, how quickly it heats up. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So you might have noticed on top there was included a Teflon cover sheet for pressing. And other than a few pieces of styrofoam, this was out and ready to use. It does come with a cord you'll need to plug into the back and then into an outlet and you're ready to go. No software needed for this machine. The weight is around 38 pounds so this is definitely lighter than my other commercial heat press and on this one the pressing plate area is 15 inches by 15 inches and it does come with a pressing mat already installed. So the actual overall dimensions of the machine is about 17 inches by 22 inches by 13 inches tall so it will easily fit on a small table or stand or a table like mine. So now we're going to turn it on and see how it performs. Here is the operation screen. Once you have plugged in your machine, the power button will automatically start blinking. And it is important to note that this blinking will continue even when your machine is off. Once you have turned on the power, you can adjust your settings. The top left button is the temperature. Once you press it, you can adjust by pressing the plus and minus buttons on the right. You can adjust the time as well by hitting the little clock icon on the left. It does come with four presets for HTV Ront specific materials such as heat transfer vinyl. And you also have two user defined options that you can set yourself to your preferred temperature and time. There's an, also an automatic feature that sets the machine to automatically press once the sliding plate is closed. And as you've probably seen, this heat press does slide out. And for this machine, you can fit materials up to one inch thick for pressing. If the automatic feature is off, you slide the plate closed after placing your item, then you will hit the green R button to start the pressing. You do not have to open the press once the time is up. It will automatically lift off the material, which I am loving. You don't have to struggle with lifting up any heat press plates. I also like that I don't have to reach under a hot plate to place my shirt or material. If something happens during pressing, there is a safety feature that allows you to press any button on the screen and that will stop the pressing and then the press will automatically lift. If the machine is not in use after 10 minutes, it will automatically close down. So that is handy if one forgets to turn off the heat press. So now let's go ahead and try out this heat press and see how it works. I'm just using a tea towel that I had to test out this sublimation HTV. I went ahead and set all of my temperature and time settings and from a cold heat press up to the correct temperature. It took this machine about four and a half minutes. So it is super fast in heating up. So I went ahead and cut out this little design with the sublimation HTV. I'm gonna go ahead and press it onto this tea towel. I did a pre-press for about five to seven seconds. So I'm just pressing at the recommended settings for this sublimation HTV. And I'm kind of shaking it off. This is a warm peel. I'm going to do a complete video on how to use the Sublimation HTV. This is a glossy um, version. There is a matte version. So, But I did print out a Sublimation design with my Sublimation printer. And I cut around the design using an offset. And I'm just placing that face down on the 
Sublimation HTV. And the way that it works, it sublimates directly to the clear heat press vinyl. And this turned out gorgeous. Like I said, this is the glossy version. There is a matte version as well, but these tur colors turned out perfect. So this heat press sublimates beautifully. I can't wait to try this on more projects. And again, I'm going to be doing another video on this. So now I'm going to adjust my settings once again for HTV. I am pressing the temperature button and holding it down. This switches from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So if you need to do that, you just hold down the temperature button. And now I'm going to set this on 315 to 10 to 15 seconds. That is the recommended settings for HTV Runs HTV. And I'm just going to be using a regular t-shirt. This is a Gildan Soft Style t-shirt. I'll pre-press it for about five to seven seconds. It's super easy just to hit that green button to release your press, even if your full time has not completed. So I went ahead and cut out this cute little design in some HTV. I'm using the colors metallic silver, green, and black. And again, this is HTV Runt heat press vinyl. And I'm going to be layering this vinyl. I'm going to press all of the silver and then do the green and black separately. So I'm first going to place it all together. I've already cut this out and weeded out all of the parts I don't need. And this HTV does come with an adhesive cover sheet. So that makes it easy to stick that to your material. So I'm ready to go ahead and press my silver. This calls for 10 to 15 second press, but I'm going to cut it off short at about eight or nine seconds. That way I can get all of the layers on there. And then on the final press, I'll make sure that all of my layers are well adhered to the t-shirt. This brand of HTV is a warm peel, so you do not want to remove the cover sheet until this has cooled just a little bit. You don't want it to be completely cold, but it will come up if you try to remove it hot. So you'll see me trying to cool off the t-shirt here in just a second before I remove the cover sheet. I'm also covering the iron-on that I've already pressed onto the t-shirt with this Teflon cover sheet that came with the machine. You definitely want to make sure and do this to protect your heat plate on your heat press from any vinyl that might stick to that. So here I've made the final press. I'm going to remove this last transfer tape cover sheet from my vinyl and this shirt's going to be done. It turned out super great. This heat press works very, very well on heat transfer vinyl even if you're layering and so i was very happy with how this turned out so i'm going to give a final review my thoughts on this machine i would not suggest or put anything on my channel that i did not use and did not truly like to my audience and i'll have to say i really like this machine some of the best things that i like are the pull out slide that you makes it easy to place all your materials on. I like the automatic press. I, don't, I like that you don't have to struggle opening the heat press plate as you do with some machines. So I'm very super happy about those two things and the price point of this. I'm going to leave all links to this machine. They're affiliate links, but I'm going to leave them in the description. They are on sale right now. HTV Ron is having a Valentine's sale. So if you're going to check this machine out, now is a good time to do it. But I'll leave all links to all the products I used in this video, including this heat press. If you guys have any questions about this machine, you can leave them in the comments. And I do plan on doing a lot more videos this month with this machine, doing some transfer videos. And I'm going to do a full video on that sublimation HTV as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video very helpful if you're trying to decide to buy a heat press or an automatic heat press. So again, thank you for watching. And I will see all of you back again in my next video.